Welcome to another non-homogeneous equation example. So in this example, our job is to find the general solution to y prime plus tangent of x times y is equal to secant of x. So this is non-homogeneous and linear. Uh, we have p of x is tangent of x, and f of x is secant of x. So if you recall uh, from the previous video, um, the solution is y equals one over mu of x times the integral of mu of x times f of x dx, uh, where mu of x is uh, e to the integral of p of x dx. So, for this problem, mu of x is e to the integral of p of x is tangent. So we are looking at e to the integral of tangent of x dx. Integral of tangent of x is just natural log of the absolute value of secant x. So we are looking at e to the natural log of the absolute value of secant of x plus c. This is just c1 times uh, secant of x. And we can go ahead and set, pick c1 equals zero, sorry, c1 equals one. And we have mu of x is equal to secant of x. Therefore, we have that y is equal to one over the secant of x times the integral of secant of x times f of x is uh, also secant of x. And then dx. So this first secant x is our mu of x. The second secant x came from our f of x. So we are looking at y equals one over secant is just cosine x. Then we have the integral of secant squared x d. We are therefore looking at y is equal to cosine of x times Integral of secant squared is just tangent of x, and then plus c. So we have y is equal to cosine of x times tangent of x, plus c times cosine of x. Or, uh, cosine of x times tangent of x is just sine of x, since tangent is sine over cosine. So we have y is equal to sine of x plus a constant c times cosine of x. Um, just a quick note. Uh, if this were an IVP, All that remains would be plugging in the initial conditions and solving for C.
Um, so this is a very quick, straightforward process for finding the general solution and specific solution for either a differential equation or an initial value problem. Um, you don't have to work through the theory every time. You're welcome to just go ahead and solve for the integrating factor and then use the formula to solve for the solution as opposed to walking through the theory and process every time. So that is it for the semester and that is it for your intro to uh, differential equations. If you continue on with this uh, sequence, you will see uh, many more variations of first order equations as well as second order differential equations um, in your differential equations class.